Hello everybody and welcome back to the Dark Souls 2 Countdown, this is episode 22, Top 10 Funny Moments. If you want to know what the next topic is, watch until the end of this video or look at the description, otherwise we're going to begin at number 10. Triple Helix is co-oping through the Iron Keep with a friend and they're progressing smoothly, or seemed to be going well, until they meet this armoured turtle. This turtle's really cool. Oh my! Rip. Did you see that? What do you do? He backstabbed me! From the front! I got lagstabbed by a turtle! Of course that happened! Highlight. Of course I got lagstabbed by a freaking turtle. That is one mean turtle. I actually don't think I've ever been backstabbed by one before, and especially not face stabbed from the front like that. Those were some impressive Ninja Turtle skills. Crossbreed Priscilla has invaded the Iron Keep Bridge and thinks it's just going to be a normal everyday duel against this host over here, but it really isn't. Firstly, there is some unreal latency here. The host is poking him from meters away and then taking no damage at all whatsoever. Then he suddenly gets backstabbed and a sunbro rolls in from out of nowhere. And yeah, that's that, I guess. But no. That is not it, there's actually more. He respawns back at the bonfire and then runs up the stairs and dies again in his own world. I don't even know anymore. This next guy is attempting to fight the new dragon, or Drake, located in the Tower of Flame. But this is one tough enemy in more ways than one. Oh god. Oh, they're joining the fight, they're joining the fight. Oh. Not my life. Though. I mean, I'm very glad to know that that happens to other people as well, but man, getting tail whipped into the ocean is just the most humiliating thing ever. This next one is great. Dragonborn007 here is doing this thing where he invades random people's worlds and then asks the host to get on voice chat with him and then he performs magic tricks for them. However, his final trick is the one to watch out for. Hello there. Hello there. You have a mic? I want to show you some magic tricks because I'm a magician. Like I'm, I'm just cosplaying. Oh, okay. All right. So my first magic trick is this. This is my first. I can uh, I can sweat. That's my first magic trick. That hot. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, His it's, magic uh, trick is sweating profusely. Built to perfection. I can sweat. All right. Second magic trick is I can dance. He can dance. Hooray! All right, third magic trick is I can transform. I'm now a horse now. He's a horse. All right, and the fourth magic trick is I can send Quinch at this point. Bye, sir. Damn. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I'm the best magician. I didn't ever. see that one coming. Nice, dude. GG. <laughs> GG. I see you later, mate. Bye. How hilarious was that? For real, that was great. And also, props to the guy who got tricked for being cool about it. That was nice to see. Now, I wonder if any of you have actually ever been trolled by the AI before. Well, this guy is trying to go into the Sir Alon boss fight, but the two knights behind him are actually bullying him. That is just amazing. Every time he turns around to go in, they shoot him in the back, and then when he finally moves towards them, they just run back up the stairs. That's exactly like sibling play fights right there. Jason is here attacking the giant lord. This is a very popular place for farming lots and lots of souls and bonfire aesthetics. However, I think this giant has realized that people are just using him for quick, easy souls, and clearly he ain't got time for that. Okay, this next one is a bit complicated. Deadboy90 is fighting the real NPC, Muldron, when suddenly he gets invaded by someone pretending to be Muldron. 
Now, as it turns out, this invader is a cheater, or hacker, who can teleport the host to wherever he is by performing a backstab. Obviously, this is a very bizarre situation, but it's turning out okay because the cheater is straying a bit too close to the cliff edge. Normally, he would have died from the fall damage, but clearly not in this case. Now, if you've been through this area before, you'll know that you can hit this snowball here to send it rolling down onto the bridge to crush everything on it. So, of course, that's what this host does. Problem solved. Or maybe not. Ouroboro and Wooty are co-oping together in the Dranglair castle and they're about to be invaded by the most terrifying entity ever. This one is pretty spooky. Oh no, don't push me! Oh, oh move, I wanna see you. <laughs> I wanna look too. There he is, you see him? Yep. Oh, uh, what the f*** is that? Yep. Is that him? Mm-hmm. Wait till you see uh, it. Oh my god, he's going up fight. at us. Is he coming for us? What the f***? What the f***? <laughs> One thing about this game, or really just about the franchise in general, it's really all about not getting hit like that's basically the way to look at everything you know you don't want to get hit ever oh my god speaking of which you heard it here first folks dark souls is all about not getting hit words from a true professional right there and taking the first spot is jacob with the most ridiculous submission on this countdown he's fighting the pursuer with two summons and honestly i don't even know how to explain this one so i'ma just let you watch it Well, thanks for the nightmares, buddy. Uh, I'm so done right now. All right, the next topic will be top 10 glitches, which is actually a topic I've been thinking about doing for a while. I just wasn't sure if this was the right format to do it in, but I guess we'll find out. You have at least a week and a half, let's say, from when this video goes up to submit, and all the instructions for submitting will be in the description. Also, I've been thinking of doing Dark Souls 2 top 10s until episode 25, and then stopping there, although I still plan to do top 10s for Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3 after that, so let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, lads and ladies. I will see you in the next video.